your skin, Big Bandage. I pulled like a back muscle working out, so I'm gonna have this beanie buddy thing on my shoulder probably during this video because it hurts really bad, but it feels better when I have this on, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna work with it. Hey guys, it's my face story here, and today what I wanted to talk about to you guys, what I wanted to talk about was I guess the biggest question that I get asked, which is how do you stay so confident? How do you stay confident with acne? How do you stay confident with acne scars? So today's video is all about confidence and how to stay confident with acne. And I'm just using things from my experience, but I kind of want to touch on different things of how or why or who, when, where I stay confident when dealing with a breakout. Which, you guys, so since my last video, my face has cleared up so much. I felt like really sad and depressed and, you know, not good. I was so worried that I was gonna just revert back to everything that had happened before just because it was all happening so fast. But look now, it's gotten so much better. Um, if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, I've been juicing celery juice every single morning. And so it's been helping a lot and I'm really, really happy about it. And I'm gonna keep doing it and hopefully, you know, it'll just keep getting better. On top of that, I've been working out like insane amount. I don't know if it's because the celery juice or what, but I do feel like I have a lot more energy than what I did before. And I just feel like better. I can think better. I'm sleeping better. It's just, it's all so good. Okay. So we're going to do five, six, five, five, six. I don't know. We're going to do five ways. Let's do five ways. <laughs> all over the place, man. Five ways how you can stay confident when dealing with a breakout and not be how I was where I was feeling sad and depressed and yada yada. Number one, right off the bat, you are unique, you are special, you're an individual. So you should not be comparing yourself to anyone or anything else, especially Instagram hotties, which I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. That is like a huge trap. Do not fall into that because you know, most of those images are photoshopped, face tuned, lighting angles. It's not real, you guys, it's not real, okay? It is a heightened version of realness. Don't compare yourself to that. It's only gonna set yourself up for failure, break your heart. It's like art. You wouldn't compare like a Vincent Van Gogh painting to like a Monet, and if you don't know who those two are, it's like abstract painting to like a peaceful, calm, like water lilies painting. You know what I mean? So it's the same way with people. You know, you're individual, you're unique. Um, don't compare yourself to other people. Just work on being the best you that you can be. And I know it sounds so dumb or cheesy, like not to compare yourself to other people, but really don't. Who cares? Who cares what Betsy Sue, <laughs> Betsy Sue <laughs> is wearing or what she looks like or whatever. I mean, you can find inspiration in other people, but don't compare yourself because you are the best that there is and the best that there's gonna be and all that stuff. So don't compare yourself. One thing I wanna say though about the Instagram community, luckily more and more people are coming out being like all natural or showing, you know, that side of them. Like this is what I look like before I eat. This is what I look like after I eat. You know what I mean? So they're kind of coming out and showing more of that realness. And especially with recent news, if you guys have seen Kendall Jenner's photos, I've been circulating with her cystic acne. That is literally Kind of like the acne I get, where it'll be bright and aligned. I'm like, what the heck? What is this? But huge cystic acne, you know, and she's still going out on the red carpet and she's still slaying. So you gotta be confident, be yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people. And yeah, I think it's a really good thing that people on social media are more and more starting to come out. I think that all of us kind of are craving that realness and we're starting to realize the fakeness and the ads with um, companies and just like the staged photos. And I think we're all kind of getting a little tired of it, right? I think so. Number two, don't worry what other people think because those that matter don't mind and those that mind don't matter. So if they care about how you look, they don't matter. Who cares? No, seriously, who cares? Because you don't need them. So don't worry what other people think. I've had people tell me too, you know, they're afraid to change their diet, like they live at home or they're married or whatever. They're like afraid to change their diet because they're afraid of like 
what people in their family might think, or they might think that they're weird, or they're being, you know, what's it called, like pretentious. Don't worry what other people think, just do you. Life is so short, at the end of the day, you know, you're gonna go home and sleep in your bed and go to your life, and they're gonna go home and go to their life. So don't let other people's opinions or comments or whatever phase you, because in like a week, really, is it gonna affect you or is it gonna matter? Are they gonna remember what they said? Are they, you know what I mean? So I just feel like life is too short to let other people influence the way that you want to live. You just do whatever you want to do and don't let their opinions matter, okay? Okay. <laughs> don't feel like you have to stay in a toxic relationship or friendship or even a friend group. Um, you can very quickly remove yourself from that situation. You never, ever have to do anything that you don't wanna do. Like you control that power, you hold that power. Don't ever think that you're helpless or that you have no other options um, because you do. I promise that you do, hunty. I guess lastly on this part of don't worry what other people think, last leg of this part is to be honest, to be quite frankly honest, Nobody really cares. Like nobody really cares if you're breaking out. Nobody really cares if you have acne. Um, most people are too fixated on their own problems, whether it be they think their nose is too big, their feet are too big, they wanna lose 10 pounds. Too focused on their own problems and looking at that in other people to notice your own insecurity. Um, and I really do believe that's true because you know, the first thing I probably see in people is their skin because that is probably my biggest insecurity, you know? It would be like, the only thing I ever even think about. So with other people, it could be like their eyebrows and that's like the first thing they notice about you is, oh my gosh, your eyebrows, but you'd never think about that. You know what I mean? So everyone's too focused on their own little shenanigans to worry about yours, so don't let their opinion influence you. Okay, girl, okay. Number three, realize that you are doing your best. Again, going back to this whole Kendall Jenner photo that's been circulating on the internet, the fact that she has millions of dollars and she still has severe cystic acne says two things. One, acne doesn't discriminate against social class. And two, doesn't matter how much money that you have or that you pour into it. That used to be my biggest thing. I was like, well, maybe if I could try the, these products or maybe if I had more money and I had the, you know, could go to the right treatment centers or go to the right dermatologist or go, you know, but the fact that there's Hollywood stars with millions of dollars that still have cystic acne, don't you think they're trying their best too with, you know, all the tools they've been granted? So realize that you're doing the best that you can with the means that you've been given, whatever that means specifically to you. And don't let, you know, other people are going to have their own two cents because their skin is clear and they probably haven't had anything like severe acne related happen to them. So they think that, oh, I know what to do with my skin because I haven't had acne, but really that's not like how it works at all actually. When somebody does try to give you a piece of advice, you know, even though I'm not seeing a dermatologist, what I usually say is, you know, oh yeah, me and my dermatologist have actually developed a plan for me and my acne is really, really persistent. So we're just working together, you know? So try to like let them know, you know, you're not really interested. I think that people really honestly do have best interest at heart when they recommend things. But then there's like the other side of that where if you don't know what you're talking about, why are you recommending things? I don't know. But I really, 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 really do think they have best interest. You know, I don't think it's coming from a malicious place. Um, is it rude to point out someone else's features or someone else's insecurity? Yes, but do other people see it like that? Probably not. Just remember that people really are trying to probably, most likely, 99.9% .9 of the time help. Um, especially if someone has been through that, you know. That is someone who I would like to take advice from, is someone who has suffered with severe cystic acne and is, is either controlling it or helping it somehow because I feel like, you know, someone like that definitely could offer a piece of advice, but someone who like has never dealt with acne before, if you're trying to offer me advice, please just 
take a step back, hunty, because me and my dermatologist are working the best that we can together right now. My acne is very persistent. That's all you gotta say. That's it. That being said, do not let their advice phase you. Just keep doing whatever is working the best for you. Don't worry about it, honey. And that's it. Number four. And this, what is going on? I am like falling apart. This is huge. Very, very big. Massive. Grand. It's either one way or the other from what I have seen. One, either quit habitually checking yourself in the mirror, running to the mirror every morning, seeing if, you know, you're breaking out or where you're breaking out or if you're gonna get a breakout or even checking the mirror, checking your phone mirror. Quit checking yourself because you're just stressing yourself out and nothing's going to change regardless if you have um, a pimple, you know, it's, it's still gonna be there in an hour. It's probably still gonna be there in three hours. So quit checking yourself. You're just stressing yourself out. It's not gonna help at all. And on the flip side of that, if you're completely avoiding mirrors or you're too anxious to look at them because of how your face looks, because of what you're going through, do look in mirrors, you know, wake up in the morning and definitely go to the mirror and look in the mirror and tell yourself, it sounds cheesy, but be like, I'm beautiful because you are and you are worth it. And just give yourself like one nice compliment because I feel like that helps a lot, you know? Oh girl, your skin nice today, your hair nice, your eyebrows nice, your breast smells good. So do that. So I've been at both places. I've been at one where I won't look in the mirror at all. I got past that and then I went to the opposite where I was like obsessed and it was like every time I'd get a new spot, I'd be like checking the mirror every two seconds. So I feel like neither is really healthy. You know, find a good mirror self-absorption <laughs> narcissistic balance, you know, maybe check it like three times a day max. Set yourself a little mirror limit. And I think that'll help with, you know, not worrying or focusing too much on the way that you look. Number five, and this is huge for me when it comes to confidence, is don't avoid social interaction. Huge. I have missed out on a couple of things, a couple of occasions because I was dealing with a bad breakout or just small things like, oh, I don't wanna go to the gym because my face, you know, it's like swollen or I have like so many cysts and people are already looking at you because you're working out and then you get self-conscious because you're breaking out and then they're looking at you. You know what I mean? Don't, don't not, do not, <laughs> don't, not go to things just because you're experience, experiencing acne. Get out there, do whatever you wanna do, be whoever you wanna be. I'm standing up a little bit taller each time I talk, there we go. Um, because at the end of the day, it's not gonna matter in like five years if you had a pimple or if you had two pimples or if you had a face full of pimples, it's really not gonna matter. So you need to make sure that you're holding yourself accountable and that just because you're breaking out, you know, you're not missing out on a first date or on a so siblings graduation or just like everyday things because those are really important life events and you know you don't want to miss out on life just because you have acne so keep doing you even though you're breaking out because you don't want to miss out because you're breaking it with that what would you say to your friend or to your sister or you know another sibling if they were breaking out and they wanted to miss something, you know? If my friend was like, oh, I'm not gonna go on the date because I have a pimple, I'd be like, are you kidding me? Because you have a pimple? If that guy is that shallow that he doesn't wanna date you because of a pimple, then he's not worth your time. So, that's that. <laughs> okay, you guys, so that is all. I'm like in a really good mood today. It's the celery juice train. Hey, hey, hey. Juice, 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 juice. Okay, that is it. And I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully my beanie buddy didn't freak you out. This is really great if you work out a lot or your back is sore and you strain your muscles. It actually can go all the way around your neck. I promise this video isn't sponsored. This is just really nice. Um, you know, Amazon for like eight bucks, you put it in the microwave and it's like moist heat. <laughs> it feels so good. All right guys, so that is it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you next time. Okay, bye. There's a hope that's waiting for you.